on in here. I need you closer so we can talk because we need to have a real conversation. Who is we? Me, the sisterhood, black women, married, single, kids, no kids. The black women. Get over here! Black women have believed the lie so much. You create your own issues. He ain't lying. You don't want to heal. No. Nope. You don't want to go to therapy. <laughs> and then you wonder why your your own men don't want to have anything to do with it. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. You wonder why black women have a high divorce rate and a low marriage rate. It's you. It's not the men. It's you. Oh, shit. What's going on? Welcome back. Hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload content, you know what we're going to do. Yep. Roll that clip. I understand that delivery is important. I understand that tone can absolutely make you block out the message. I get it. But wait, there's more. But I just want to point out that it does not matter if it is a man, woman, what race? If y'all do not like what is being said, the first thing out y'all's mouth is, it's your tone, it's your delivery. Back. I want to point out something. Some of us see the emergency status that the black community is in. We need change immediately. Immediately. And when you are in an emergency, do you soften your tone? No. 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 When you see somebody about to get hit by a car, you don't say, hey, be careful over there. Looks like a car is coming. I love you and I just don't want you to be hit by a car. That's not what we do. We say what? Hey, watch out, it's a car. I want you to get hit. You're not thinking about the delivery. It's an emergency. We need to enact change now. And if there's anybody here that believes that our children are under attack, our community is under attack, our men are under attack, our women are under attack. If there are anybody that believe that, we have got to stop listening with our feelings and listening with our minds for fact. If what someone is saying holds true, we've got to learn to ignore the delivery because a lot of us are missing very important information because you don't like the messenger or the tone isn't correct or the delivery isn't customed to you. And that's not gonna ever happen in a state of emergency, okay? Okay. Ladies, all three of y'all watching and maybe two cause she might've pissed you off. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Accountability is a two way street but right now, we're talking to you. Stop being emotional. Just because you don't like the way something is said doesn't change what was said. Two plus two is four, whether you agree with how it's said or not. And see, this is what people run into. Women are emotional. They will take what you say, and if it doesn't feel right, they will chastise you. If it doesn't sound right, they'll belittle you. If it doesn't resonate with them, they will overstep their boundaries with you. Women operate on feelings. That is a fact. That is not speculation. That is a fact. So when you take women that operate on feelings, you end up like this. Say that women act when they're moody. Have you pass the paper, please? Can you not reach it yourself? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just have to reach it over you. That's why I didn't. Oh my God, whatever, here. Babe, is everything all good? Are you serious? I just, honestly, I don't know how to act right now. Clearly. Have you pass the paper, please? Uh, thanks. Um, are you all good? 
Are you sure you can talk to me? I'm fine. Okay, sorry. Baby, can you pass the paper, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks. You're so welcome. Are you all good? What are you trying to imply? I just want to make sure you're okay. Oh yeah, I'm fine. I just have lower back pain, a headache, and I feel nauseous, so. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't know. I'll go get you a heat pack. It's too late, don't bother. It's really no bother. I said it's too late. Baby, can you pass the paper, please? Yeah. Babe, is everything all good? I honestly just got annoyed at you for asking me to pass you the pepper. So, no, I actually don't think I'm okay. Thanks for being honest with me. Thanks for checking in. I'm probably gonna be like this a while longer, and as much as I'd love for you to fix this for me, I don't think you can. Well, I am here for you. I think I'm just gonna take some time out. Just give me an hour, and then maybe let's come back together. Is there anything I can do from afar? I'm just gonna be trying to self-soothe, so some cute loving messages would probably be nice. I got you. Thank you, baby. See, a lot of you just didn't have fathers growing up. And it shows. It shows them how you view men, how you treat men, how you talk about men, what irritates you about men. A lot of you don't even know what a father's love is. And the way a man speaks to you, based on how you respond, I can tell if you had a father growing up up with a very active and present father in my life uncles granddaddies i had a brother in my house that was hard on me even though he was younger the men in my life provided for me protected me gave me guidance and instruction in things in life so i knew they loved me so when they had to correct me on something they didn't sugarcoat they didn't put no gloves on and let me let me help no they did not I remember my uncle stopping me one day and was like, hey, you think that split is appropriate for a young lady like you? He ain't, he ain't caring about no delivery because what he seen was we need to get this behavior nipped in the bud immediately because that's, that's not a good look. My dad would have to correct my mouth. My dad would have to correct the things that I was doing wrong. And he didn't always stop to think about the delivery because they felt like what is happening needs an emergency response. It needs an immediate response. And so you are absolutely correct. There are a lot of women that were raised by their moms. Nothing wrong with that. But their moms were too busy being their friend. Their mom was too busy, you know, having fun. I just, I just want her to like me. Yep. And she never got that stern delivery from her mom either. So those are the women today. Not all, but some that cannot stand the tone and delivery, but it's really because you don't want to hear the message and you need a reason to deflect. And those are the ones that we are not even talking to because you don't want it and that's okay. And this is what this woman broke down. She said a lot of you never had fathers growing up and it shows. Emotional damage. Ladies, stop deflecting. Stop it, get some help. It has nothing to do with the tone. It has nothing to do with the delivery. It has nothing to do with anything. You just don't want to hear the message. That's all there is to it. You're deflecting because you know that what people are saying about women are, are true. Got them. We fucking got them. A lot of women in our community, let's keep it a buck, y'all hate black men. Y'all want to date white men. Y'all want to date Asians, Latinos, different groups of men. Y'all don't like black men. So why would you even defend a man and a group of men that you don't even like? <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true the other reason why is because it all goes back to this black women are traumatized not all but some and for you to be traumatized and unhealed there's a reason why you continue to get the results of dating that you get. You're traumatized. You don't want to heal. You don't want to go to therapy. You don't want to deal with the consequences of your actions. What you want to do 
is you want to blame everybody else but yourself. It's called accountability for a reason. The reason why you nag so much is because you're unhappy with yourself. The reason why you talk down on your sister so much is because you're miserable. The reason why you hate to see other women happy is because you are unhappy. The reason why you want to put on a wig or a weave and wear fake hair, fake nails, fake lashes, and tons of makeup is because you're insecure about your own self. And you want to lie and say, oh, this is a protective hairstyle. This is protecting me. This is, no, It is. It's protecting your self-image because it's giving you a false image. Yep. You're living a lie. You're believing a lie. You're telling a lie. They are for you are the lie. If you lie to you, if you lie to yourself enough, eventually you'll believe the lie. He ain't lying. Black women have believed the lie so much. You create your own issues. You don't want to heal. You don't want to go to therapy. You don't want to treat men good. You don't want to treat children good. And then you wonder why your, your own men don't want to have anything to do with it. You wonder why black women have a high divorce rate and a low marriage rate. It's you. It's not the men. It's you. Told you. I told you. I told you. You ain't tell me shit. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know when I upload content. And until the next one, peace. And now for some rapid fire facts.